As part of our unit on function algebra, let's get a little practice doing function arithmetic, which is putting things into functions uh, by evaluating them. So, for example, let's, let's take this first one. Uh, it says f of 5x. Now, that's not f times 5x, right? It's substituting 5x in wherever you see x in the equation. So if we go through that, this would turn into um, f of 5x equals... 2 times 5x squared plus 4 times 5x minus 3. So you see it's exactly the same equation, f of x, except in place of x, I put 5x. So now we just simplify. That's the only job left. So this becomes uh, 2 times 25x squared. Remember, the squared distributes plus, well, 4 times 5x is 20x and then minus 3, and then I just need a little bit more, and we're done. It becomes 50x squared plus 20x minus 3. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, this next one's easier, actually. If you look at 5 times f of x, all that's saying is 5 times this thing. So what we do is we say 5 times f of x equals 5, and then we put f of x in a big parentheses, right? 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. So this becomes 10x squared plus 20x minus 15, right? I just distributed that 5 using multiplication. Now the next one is where it starts to get a little more, uh, a little lengthy. It's going to be 5, I'm um, sorry, f of x plus 5. So what we do there is we say, okay, this is f of x plus 5, right? In other words, everywhere I see x in my function. I'm going to replace that with x plus 5. So this becomes 2 times x plus 5. This is just like the 5x example earlier, except we'll have to do some foiling. It gets a little bit messy. x plus 5 and then minus 3. So watch what we get. It's 2 times. If you can foil or distribute the multiplication for x plus 5 squared, what we get is x squared plus 10x plus 25, and you should have had pretty, plenty of practice at that by now. And then we still have 4 times x plus 5 minus 3. So now we distribute the, multiplica the, the multiplic multiplicators, <laughs> Mul uh, whatever the word is for those, 2x squared plus 20x plus 50. That's the first one. And over here we get 4x plus 20, and then at the end we get minus 3. All that's left is combining like terms. So I don't see any x squared, so we can just write that as 2x squared. But there are a few x's. We've got 20x over here and 4x over there. So that makes 24x. And then 50 plus 20 is 70, minus 3 is uh, 67. Okay, so 2x squared plus 24x plus 67 is our answer. Now, likewise, for the rest of these things, you just keep going through, and anywhere you see um, something inside a parentheses that looks complicated, what that means is you're making a substitution. But anything like this one, for example, this is this is so easy. Just look at that. f of x plus 5. See, that plus 5 is outside the parentheses, meaning you just take your function, right, uh, 2x squared plus 4x minus 3, and then you add 5 onto the end of it. Okay, it's very easy. It's like a vertical shift. Now, the next one is not quite so straightforward, but it is not that bad. We just do f of x, and we also do f of 5, and we add those two things together. So f of x is 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. f of 5 is this thing. I'm going to put in brackets. 2 times 5 squared, right? I'm replacing all the x's with 5's. 2 times 5 squared plus 4 times 5 minus 3. Okay, and then you would go ahead and simplify that bracketed orange term, which turns into just a single number, and combine that with the function uh, on the left side of this equation. All right?